Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a full face of new at the drugstore. Whoop, that did not go as planned. This is like TikTok inspired. I love the idea of showing like, oh, look, look, this is gonna be on this. We're gonna test it out. New drugstore makeup. We're gonna hop into everything and I'm gonna give you my real time thoughts. Let's keep fingers crossed that it's a good makeup day, maybe even a great one. I'm a little nervous, a little excited. These are a bronzing drop dupe. This is Physician's Formula New Butter Glow Drops. This is skincare merged with a bronzing situation. These drops look really beautiful. I have not tried them on my face. The scent is a little crazy coconut. So these are very fragranced. Pray for me. This could go really bad, but I really wanna try these. I picked them up at CVS. I did also grab, I think the packaging on this is super, super pretty. We're gonna get to this. This is the new mascara, the Butter Bronzer Mascara. Just the name of that sounds so appealing. All right, so I'm gonna take some of these drops. A dash will do you. Now this is loaded with fatty acids. It is marketed as having skincare benefits mixed into your bronzing serum. It has maru maru butter, capicua butter, I'm saying that wrong, definitely, and takuma butter from the lush and nutrient rich Amazon. I am gonna mix it in with a little bit of face lotion that I like priming with. This is the face base from Lanolin Lanolips. This is the vitamin E day cream. And I just don't trust putting this on the skin by itself. I'm gonna mix these two together and just prepare the skin. I do feel like this is the better way to use these drops. Otherwise they can look really muddy. You can get very carried away really quickly and in real life, it does not look good. In camera, on the phone, you might be like, oh, this is nice. But you pull down that you know, mirror in the car, that is the truth teller, all right? Do we see a difference at all? A nice glow, is it worth it? I don't know. Okay, let's try the other side with just the bronzing drops because maybe I went a little too mixy mixy. Okay, so I'm going to just go straight with the brush on this side and see, yeah, that's pretty pigmented. Whoa. This is talc free. It is said to be safe for sensitive skin. My only disagreement with that is the heavy fragrance. This is also marketed as paraben free and gluten free. I will say this, all of the oils looking side by side between this and the Drunk Elephant. I believe Drunk Elephant was the original that many companies have been inspired by. The oil I believe is the seventh ingredient, whereas the physician's formula, although not as expensive, is the budget version. And you're getting those oils that you are marketed to as being great skincare all the way at the bottom below even the fragrance. So sometimes looking at the ingredients is really, really important when you're making a purchasing decision. Like if you're buying this because you think it's skincare, I would say think again. Right now I'm just evening myself out. I don't know who is going out in public with just this. Like so many people I see online using just this and I'm like, it looks like I just rubbed dirt all over my face. Why are we liking this? All right, maybe bronzing drops are just not for me. I'm committed now though, so like, woo, let's let's get down. Okay, uh, straight out the gate, you guys, their original dupe that was more in a tube, I like so much better, I don't like this. Okay, here's where it is with makeup for me, you guys, just so you know. A lot of the time at the end of my makeup adventures, you're like, well, you know what? You're kind of hard on products and it didn't go that bad. It did not go that bad because I'm very skilled when it comes to makeup and I know how to course correct a bad situation. But when I'm reviewing a product, I think about who's using it and I always wanna make it approachable for someone that doesn't know a ton about makeup. And I desire for things to be very user-friendly, unless noted, so I can make things work and look good good, but gosh, do we wanna to have to put all that effort in and kind of course correct everything? Or do you want like a seamless, I can count on these products kind of a routine? Let's dip into a little pore minimization. This is from Pop Beauty. This is the Face Magnet Primer. It is a mattifying primer. I'm just gonna use this on my T-zone. I've been getting a little bit oily recently. Wow, that is like bright white. I was not expecting that just on the T-zone. Wow, I just don't like how those bronzing drops look at all. Okay, you guys, 
I was gonna try this. I'm terrified to try it though. This is also from Physicians Formula. Now, P.S., I love Physicians Formula. They're one of my favorite drugstore brands, so no shade. But I did watch a few people on TikTok try this and it was so bad that now I'm like, well, ah, uh, like pilling and really shiny. I thought maybe I would do a swatch and we could look at it together up close, but I'm gonna save this for when I'm using my favorite primers and my other favorite products to really just zero in on how this performs. Uh, have you guys tried this? Let me know in the comments. By the way, this is going on beautifully. Like really is not pilling, is melting in, does not feel dry. We are gonna try this though, the new Diamond Filler Cheek and Lip Color. Really stunning packaging, I love that. I'm gonna put my foundation on and then we're gonna come back to the blush, put it on and then do concealer. Not using this, gonna go in with my beloved L'Oreal Infallible. Oh my gosh, erase me, right? Look at that. The L'Oreal Infallible line is the it girl when it comes to drugstore everything. That line is solid. L'Oreal saved the day. I feel nice and even. We're gonna go in with a little bit of LA Girl Pro Conceal. I have been loving this since I revisited it in my wanting to fall in love again throwback drugstore video. I will link that below. One of the best concealers at the drugstore, love it so, so much. All right, we're gonna go in, do I dot? Ugh, I don't know if I should dot it to the face. I always feel like working off a palette makes so much more sense and blends so much better because you can really evenly get product on the brush, but it's also visually pleasurable to watch someone dot up their face. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what this one is all about. This comes in two shades. It's 1349 on the Physicians Formula site. I have the shade Brilliant Peach. This is also hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, talc-free, cruelty-free, vegan, clinically tested, and dermatologist approved. It says to apply it straight to the skin, one or two dots. We're just gonna do that. Boom, boom. Ooh. Okay, that I really like. That is gorgeous. Very shocked. I love it. Look how this blends in. Just like it does not tug, it's not blotching. I'm first using circular motions and then kind of pressing in. And it gives like a really nice, subtle, nicely hydrated, not glittery, oily glow. I really like that. Very shocked, very shocked making me get curious about this one too. All right, we're gonna go in to this H2O Skin Veil Hydrating Loose Powder from Pixi. This was recently sent to me. I love a hydrating veil. I think they're fun to use if this is the formula that I'm thinking where it feels kind of wet. All right, so the product details on this are kind of funny. It is paraben free, not tested on animals. It will set makeup and leave skin hydrated long-term. For how long? We don't really know. It's a unique botanical boosted formula, lightweight, loose water powders, blur and cool, refreshes and hydrates to create a velvet skin-like finish. There are two shades, so this is the translucent. The other shade looks kind of dark. Interesting shade range there. How to apply. Use a light fluffy brush to buff onto skin. You can use on bare skin or on top of foundation. You have hyaluronic acid in here, green tea and aloe. The formula looks pretty good. Does it have that watery? Mm. Mac used to make one that literally felt wet when you put it on the skin. So did Prescriptives, a brand that does not exist anymore, but they had a magic powder that felt so cool. Like literally, no pun intended, it like felt cold and wet when you put it on the skin. I don't know why I was so mesmerized by that, but I was, I was like, makeup is magic. I saved up good money to buy that prescriptives powder. Someone out there has got to remember that. I actually really liked that line. Okay, I'm going in kind of hard with this. Woo, she looks crazy. Um, but it's such an interesting finish that I just kind of want to see what I can get away with here. It buffs out so nicely. Wow. Yo, you guys, I was not expecting to like that so much. I am so picky with powder. That feels 
so velvety and soft on the skin. It is not gripping or grabbing at anything. And I did have a little tackiness on the face because of the blush. The drops that I used had a fair amount of oil in them. It's not gripping or doing that weird thing where there can be a patch or two that doesn't wanna blend. It seems to be blurring my fine lines. I really like this. Marvelous. Wow, Pixie, you did that. I am gonna go in with this bronzer from Catrice that is like this size of my head. You guys know, I love a bronzer that is large in pan size because I can use it on the body. I feel like the brush gets so evenly coated when you have that larger pan. This has a nice size mirror in it too, but like look at how much product you are getting. This is the shade Light Bronze. I do also have the medium, but I think I'm just gonna go in with light. This is enriched with vitamin E. We're gonna go in with a light dusting. I always, with new bronzers especially, try to get a little bit off the back of my hand. Just make sure the brush is evenly coated. We're gonna go in with a light hand and use upward circular motions. Gorgeous, there's a lot of kickback, but the formula blends so beautifully. This blends so nicely. I love most everything that I have tried. The fragrance is kind of getting to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, coconuts. It's all I can smell. I think I can taste them. All right, um, I think I wanna put on some lips because this is just not doing it for me. Let's powder them down. I don't always do that step, but when I feel like being a little extra, I do. This is also from Catrice, plumping lip liners. I don't know what would make them plumping, but apparently they do. So we're gonna go in, I don't like my lip line and I would do just about anything, meaning I'm secretly kind of researching tattooing my lips. I would do just about anything to fix my lip line. I'm starting to experience that thing where it just like doesn't exist. So lip liner for me is super important. I am gonna use the shade Rosie Feels Rosy. Okay, also secret confession. <gasps> I kind of want to get my lips done again. After all of my nonsense of I look terrible like that. I don't know, I kind of like, in my mind, I'm like, but I could do it more subtle this time. Does it make sense that like, like I got healthy and I started working out and like my lips shrunk? Like, is that fair? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go in with another shade. I feel ashamed. Um, I'm gonna go in now with the shade, I like to mauve it and contemplate some more. Oh man, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, I remember what it was like to not have to try this hard for my lips. You know, it might be nice. And then here's the thing, okay? Oh gosh, don't you love it when I'm talking? and putting on lip products. It's gotta be your favorite, I know it is. This is actually going on really nice, by the way. It's allowing me to layer it up, which not all lip liners will play nice like that. Some of them are so waxy that they will kind of pill and one will kind of not layer with the other and there'll be a bald spot and it'll get kind of just bunchy, you know what I'm talking about? This is literally on top of powder and it's letting me line it this beautifully. I'm trying to cheat my way to success down here. We can see that. Okay, what was I saying? I have been living quite a bit with the fear of what my audience thinks. Tiny bit of fear, just because I don't wanna disappoint anyone and I'm realizing that's not the healthiest way to live my life and I do have the ability to change my mind, right? But it's so funny because one of the most aggressive, non-aggressive comments is, don't let other people tell you who to be. Like, don't listen to society's standards. And it's like, but at the same time, you're expecting me to listen to you and your standards, so who are we listening to? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, isn't that weird? I think about that all the time. Like, even when people have the best of intentions and they're like, don't listen to what they have to say, just stop. It's like, but I'm still listening to someone else. I'm listening to you, you know, whether it's like my sister or a friend or, or someone online, it's like a whole thing. Like, so who do we listen to? Catrice, tell me more. Wow, $3.92, that is a bargain. 
Ah, okay, there is peppermint oil in the product. It is a satin matte. I feel like this is a really, really nice one. I love that. All right, I am gonna put on a little bit of the blush slash lippy that we have from Physician's Formula. I kind of feel like I shouldn't put it straight on the lip and then back on the face and then on the lip. And so I'm just gonna take a brush. I like it. It's a little dry on top of the powder. I think we need a gloss. I have another Catrice item, and this is also a plumping item. This is the Lip Booster Extreme. Now this has a little bit of a blue tint, which is said to make your teeth look whiter. So let's jump on in and figure it out. That's really pretty. Just, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. We're not gonna go crazy. A Little bit icy, we're gonna let that sink in. It's time for brows. We're gonna go into this Revolution brow product. Shade blonde, what? Why would they give me blonde? Okay, this obviously was sent to me, okay. Um, we'll try it. We might need to put something else on top of it. Houston, we have a problem. If you ever wanted to know if I'm biased when things are sent to me, I am not. I don't know that I like the shape of that, and I also wish it had a spoolie instead of the little brow gel on the bottom, but we're gonna see what happens putting this to use. Nope, absolutely not. It's breaking already. Oh man, okay. This is a pass. I'm so sorry, Makeup Revolution. I love a lot of your products. That is not it. And I can just not afford a bad brow day right now. So. We all know this. I feel so much better with brows on. I just do. Oh, I had another blush to try that I kind of just want to do like a nice little topper. This is the LA Girl Rosy Glow Envy Bouncy Blush. That is pigment, that is, that is bright. Why do I always do this with blush? I don't know. By the way, the lip product is plumping in the most beautiful sensation type of a way. Like it is so minty, but not burning. And it's not icy, minty, painful. It's just like refreshing. It's like so refreshing. I love that. I love it. I love it. I'm very pleased because a lot of this is working out. We are going to play with this palette right here. I know eyeshadow is so yesterday. It is so out. Ew, gross, right? I cannot get enough. I know palettes are kind of not the main players of the makeup world at the moment. Everybody's about face and cheeks and highlight and skin prep. And little old me is still like, I still love color and I play with it because I like to play with it. It's not like I think I need to go out in public with like an aqua marine cut crease. It's just, I am my own adult coloring book and it is just a thing and it has never left me. I don't think it ever will. I just, I enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go in. I'm not gonna do anything too wild. I think I'm gonna play with a little bit of minty something in the inner corner, but I am gonna go mainly, mainly neutral-ish. She always has that. Let's see what happens. We're gonna go in with this shade right here first. Ooh, little, little bit dusty. I was super, super impressed with their most recent glitter lip gloss. I talked about that over on TikTok. Six bucks, beautiful. I also picked this guy up at the same time. Um, This color palette, like the colors in here, dreamy. So dreamy. That's blending really beautifully too. You definitely wanna tap off the excess with these because they do have quite a bit of kickback. But the blend, my goodness, that is nice. Okay, now I'm gonna take the same color, but I'm gonna more pack the outer corner. Dot, 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 dab, 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 dab. I want to go into the dark brown, bottom row. Same brush, but I'm definitely giving this a little, you know. And same placement, a little bit in. Dab, 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 dab. It's a little more pigmented than I expected. Let's 
see here, it's pretty good. What did I just do? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna take a clean brush to kind of buff out. I'm getting a little, a little too carried away with that darker shade. Sometimes I forget that I'm filming and I start doing my weird thing where I'm like, what if I turned it into like a cat eye situation and like put on some big lashes and like, what am I even doing? Hello, space cadet. I think with liner and lashes, that's really pretty. The darker shade was a little bit patchy. I probably should have reserved this for maybe lining the eyes and not gone as up as I did, but I don't not like it. What I wanna do for the actual eye, I could do this. You do something minty. I'm kind of inclined to do the minty. It might look super weird, but let's just try it. That looks really nice. That's not even using a glitter glue or a primer. That is just all on its own. It has a see-through base and all of those little glimmers are really catching a ton of light. I don't know that I like the shade of what I put in the outer corner, but it blended. I just probably would use this a little bit differently the next time. I am gonna take a little bit of the champagne right here and just go on the very inner, just for a little punch. All right, this is new from NYX. This is the Vivid Rich Mechanical Liner. I have the shade under the moonstone. That is beautiful. I actually kind of love it. I love how this is looking. We need lashes. We are gonna get into this Butter Bronzer Mascara. This is in the shade Bronze. I don't think I've ever tried a bronze mascara. Keratin infused. Round bristle brush for maximum performance. The before and after on here, it's a little subtle, but is that the trend? I heard mascara is over. And honestly, at this point, I'm like, what is a trend? Who's making these rules? I personally will never be a no mascara woman. I will always minimum wear mascara. It's a desert island must have. It is something that makes my eyes go from kind of like blending in with my face to like actually there. So personally, I'm a mascara girl. What about you guys? Ooh, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I was not expecting that. My inner monologue is like, do I wear it? Do I, this might burn your eyes. You might, you might have your eyes watering for the rest of the day. Gosh, darn it, why? Beautiful, pretty, nice brush. Little bit gloppy, but that could be because it is a brand new tube. What do we think? I kind of love the color. I'm not gonna lie, I love the color so, so much. The scent is concerning me. It's not immediately making my eyes water. It's not burning or anything like that, but it's like I can smell my own eyelashes. Why does mascara need to be fragranced in the first place? Like, do you know what I mean? It's not like skincare where it's like, oh, this is aromatic and I enjoy it more. It's just a weird one in my opinion. This builds, I like the formula. I might not even do lashes today, which is such a crazy thing to say about a brown mascara. The color is really cool. I kind of want to play, let's just. I don't know what I'm doing. I just, my hand went in the bowl and was like, hey, try it. I don't really know if what I just did was a good thing or bad thing, but I just had the craving to play with those lip liners a little bit more. You can totally wear those as a lipstick. I think this looks pretty. I don't know if I, I like the color combo with the green and this particular pink, but I like how that lip liner feels. Okay, I'm gonna set the face with a little bit of Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. Oof, I don't know that I like that. The mister on there is a little aggressive. You know what we didn't do? Highlight, and I have a new one right in front of me. We're gonna go in with a little LA Girl highlight. 
just a tiny little bit. Yeah, I suspected this would be very pigmented and it absolutely is. And that is it. I'm stepping away from the makeup. Everything said and done, the makeup looks nice. There are things that I am loving, things that I am not. I will not be using those bronzing drops again. I will be using the Physician's Formula blush. And if my eyes don't burn, which they haven't so far, I will be using the bronze mascara again as well. Kind of like it, love it, love, love it. Really into the plumping liners. Thought this was a beautiful, easy to blend bronzer. I gotta see how my makeup holds up, but I really feel like this mattifying primer from Pop Beauty went on in an interesting way where it melted in the skin and had almost a somewhat hydrating feel, but then dried down really matte and I like it. I do really like this LA Girl Rosy Glow Envy blush in the shade Rosy Glow. You know, this is so, so really hard to open, but really nice and creamy. I'm gonna see how it wears the NYX liner and then the Pixi powder, yo, oh my gosh, this was good. Really, really enjoyed this. Didn't like the Pixi setting mist. It just kind of squirted a little too heavy. The Revolution brow was an immediate pass because it was very crumbly. And I personally like a brow spoolie on the other end of a brow pencil. That's just me. The highlight, it's a highlight. It's pretty, it's very punchy. Everything said and done, we did pretty good. Good. I hope you guys enjoyed this new makeup at the drugstore tested. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you are subscribed and ring the bell before you leave. Other than that, go and have a good one, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.